today we are going to discuss about loci of points and this is the first problem from the slider crank mechanism this is the single slider crank chain mechanism so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management main four components are there first is the crank this one is the connecting rule short form is cr and this one is the slider and this one is the fixed point so you can say it is a frame look at this figure carefully the animation of the single slider crank chain mechanism here you can see crank rotates and slider slides and this one is the connecting rod so once again look at this animation of the single slider crank chain mechanism carefully so that you can understand the description of the problem from the loci of points now let's move the description of the problem in a slider crank mechanism so first we have to draw the single slider crank chain mechanism because of it is a problem from the single slider crank chain mechanism and you know that this one is the single slider crank chain mechanism in which crank then connecting rod and this one is the slider and this is the guide which is fixed this is the fixed point so it is called as the frame so four components are there so you can say crank connecting rod guide and this one is the piston or sometimes it is called as the slider 160 mm so the length of the connecting rod is given to you 160 mm crank is 40 mm the other end point of the connecting rod that means this point on the slider moves along a straight line passing through the center of the crank rotation so these both are on the same line trace the locus of the midpoint of the connecting rod so here our focus is on this point so we are going to draw the path of this point or you can say locus of this point during one complete revolution of this crank so look at the animation the midpoint of the connecting rod so during one complete revolution of the crank the path of the midpoint of the connecting rod is this one and that we are going to draw this one is called as the locus of the midpoint of the connecting rod and this is the solution of this given problem so in the examination you have to draw this locus of the point only dark and at the end you have to write name of this locus like that locus of midpoint of connecting rod remaining work should be very light so in the examination you have to take care and that's why i have shown over here the output of the given problem initially now let's see how can we draw it see once again the description and one by one we are going to draw initial position of the mechanism that means single slider crank chain mechanism so first of all draw the reference axis line and on which mark randomly any one point and give the name as o and then draw the circle with radius equal to the crank and that is given to you crank is 40 mm so the radius 40 mm and you can draw the circle then draw one line which is 60 degree with this reference axis you can take 30 degree also but normally 60 degree is preferable now next mark the point and give the name as c so here oc is the crank now here you can see the connecting rod length is 160 so you can see over here 160 so mark it over here and give the name as p so p is the piston or you can say slider so you can locate the p point with the help of the scale 
or you can locate the p point with the help of the compass also like this you know that cp is equal to connecting road and that is 160 mm so you can draw the arc over here with c as center and so that you can look at the p point also so either or you can follow any one method then join cp and then it is given to you trace the locus of the midpoint of the connecting road so this is your connecting road and now i am going to look at the midpoint of the connecting road so you know that the connecting road length is 160 so the midpoint is 80 so i can look at the midpoint of the connecting road and give any one name say for example it is b so here b is the midpoint of the connecting road now divide this circle into the total equal parts and you can do with the help of the compass that also we have discussed in the practice sheet so if you want to see how can you divide the circle into the 12 equal part then you can see my earlier video now give the name as c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 and c10 now next you know that the connecting road length is 160 so once again with the help of this scale you can mark the p0 point at 160 so c0 p0 is next position of the connecting road similarly you can look at the p1 point such that c1 p1 is equal to 160 next join c1 p1 similarly you can look at p2 then join c2 p2 next you can look at the p3 point then join c3 p3 next look at p4 join c4 p4 similarly look at p5 join c5 p5 then look at p6 then join c6 p6 similarly join c7 p7 c8 p8 c9 p9 and at last c10 p10 now mark the midpoint of c0 p0 and here it is 80 so you can look at over here b0 next one another method you can draw the arc with the help of the compass also so that you can look at the b0 similarly i can mark the midpoint on c1 p1 line then in the similar way b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 b9 and b10 so keep in mind that b2 is actually the midpoint of c2 p2 similarly p3 is the midpoint of c3 p3 so with the help of the compass you can look at these all points and join with the smooth curve in sequence so that you will get the locus of the b point so at last you have to write this is the locus of the midpoint of the connecting road because of it is your objective so in the examination you have to draw this locus only dark and the remaining work should be light so your drawing in the examination is like this so next time we will see one more videos on the low side of point or the single slider crank chain mechanism if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video